Seeing the difference now in the outcome shows that we have chosen the right focus here for Cam. If you watch the clips on the left, you can see that he is keying a much stronger turn, that he gets a lot more performance and is much better balanced over his outside ski uh, because he's more active here at the top of the turn, being able to move more with the skis. There are a lot of different ways of making the skis turn, a lot of different ways of uh, getting the turn started. And it's always key that we understand, I want to do this because it helps me with that. The up and forward is key because it will help me, especially when it gets steeper, to be able to control my speed, to be able to get the performance to be balanced over my outside ski. So that active movement forward into the new turn gets him with his center of mass more in the middle of the ski, allows him now uh, through his, his boot to transfer weight and make use of the front part of the ski. On the other side here, doing the flex to release allows him to turn the skis quicker, but also makes it harder for him to uh, get control over his tips. A carving ski makes a turn if I manage to step on it and etch it. On the left side now, because he's stepping on it and etching the outside ski, we can see how the skis stay parallel and how the outside ski will start to pull. Whereas on the right side, we can see how he, because he's moving too much to the inside of the turn, moves him too much over the ski and therefore his legs get pulled apart and he ends up in a reverse wedge. So a cleaner movement forward into the new turn that helps us to find the outside ski earlier. Same skier, different shot. Have a look at what's going on on the left. Commitment to move forward into the new turn, down the fall line neutral over both skis. Now he's starting to edge the outside and step on it more. And have a look. For a moment, he's losing the outside a bit, but now the outside starts to perform and starts to pull. And now the outside ski is the boss. On the left side, same thing. That was from day one again. He's staying more to the back. He moves more just to the mountain, to the inside. And now watch what happens to the skis. The inside ski is told to turn and the legs get pulled apart. And also psychologically, this is something that we see a lot. Oftentimes skiers think, oh, I don't want to fall into the lake. I want to rather stay where the mountain is. The movement forward in this direction, that commitment to face the danger, let yourself fall down the hill, is often something that doesn't come as naturally as staying back and being a bit more passive. So again, another big reason why that uh, up and forward is so important for us and uh, helps our skiers.